I mean, you know, I remember reading about, you know, Chad Hurley and YouTube, right? You know, the multi-billion dollar sale, you know, never had any revenue. And then we got the Facebook movie, right? And so we, we read about these entrepreneurial heroes that are, you know, point zero 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 one percent of what's out there, right? So it's, it's incredibly hard to be successful on that level. And any of those people will tell you that a big part of that success was luck, if they're being honest. The right place, right time. You know, I, I would say every company I've ever been involved in had a little bit of luck involved, if not a lot of luck involved. Um, so yes, it's become very sexy. It's attracted a lot of people off Wall Street, right, and places like that where they want to get into the flow of you know creating something. I think that's great, right? Yes, there are way too many startups in the market, and there's frankly probably too much startup capital in the market. Um, but I think these are experiences that. You know, these people are getting that are going to be valuable for their career, and they'll learn whether or not entrepreneurship is for them. I think the things like Startup Weekend, right, that, that are these three-day experiences are fabulous for people to go to and understand what this is all about. Um, we try to suss that out. We're, we're not looking for summer projects, right? We're looking for, for people who know they, want, they, they are entrepreneurs and not just entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are the people that just talk about the ideas all the time. Um, and you know we believe that that entrepreneurs actually do stuff, and that that makes a difference. So we we really look that they're not just talking about some great idea and some great team, but they've actually done something with it. Um, that's a, that's an easy way to tell if you're dealing with a real entrepreneur because they actually do stuff.